What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install specific Office programs if you own Office 365 2019 or whatever else. Basically, when you download the installer, it'll install Word, Outlook, Excel, and a bunch of other programs onto your computer, some of which you may never use. You may want more or less. How do you specify exactly what you want to install? Well, tricky part is you can't usually, you need to do a little bit of a workaround that's more of a techie thing, but I'll guide you through in that video now. I'll be following along mostly with the official resource over here on Microsoft's documentation website, talking about how to do this yourself using the Office Customization Tool. To begin, head across to the Office Customization Tool in the description down below, config.office.com. When you get to this page, click Create under Create a New Configuration. Inside of here, we can choose exactly what we want. I'll be using a 64-bit Office, so I'll select it up here. Then Products. We can select an Office suite up here, of which I'll be using Office 365. Then under Products, make sure to change the Office suite to Microsoft 365 Apps for Enterprise if you bought this on your normal account. Otherwise, make it Business if you know it's the Business 365 version. I'm not going to be using Vizio. I'm not going to be using Project and anything under additional products down here. Update channel. I'll leave it as current channel, the latest official one. Otherwise, you can choose one of these for more stable longer term installations and probably even previews. Leaving it at current is fine. Select the version. I'll leave it as latest. Apps. You can choose exactly what you want to install, of which I won't be installing Access. I'll be installing Excel. No OneDrive. No Skype. No OneNote. Outlook, yes. PowerPoint, yes. Publisher, no. Teams, no. Word, yes. So I'll be installing four applications out of a total of 11, I think. Then simply click Next. Choose a language over here. Then if you'd like to choose additional languages, do that here. Next once again. Then you can choose where you want to get it from. In this case, leave it as Office CDN. Then Next once again. Download updates from Office CDN. Automatically check for updates on. And if you'd like, you can customize anything down here. I'll leave this as is. Then next, automatically accept EULA. I'll leave as on and then click next once again. General, you can leave blank, next, and application preferences. You can change some other options down here. If you'd like, you can click on something here and customize its value, though this gets incredibly advanced incredibly quickly. There's a whole bunch of super in-depth settings over here, so much so my browser's even struggling to render them in. I'll just be leaving this as is and clicking finish at the bottom. When you do that, you'll have everything ticked and on the right hand side in this configured settings block, scroll down to the very bottom and then click export. Upon doing that, you can choose keep current settings, then OK, accept and finally export. Upon doing this, you'll get an XML file downloaded to your computer. What do we do with this? Well, we use it with the Office 365 tool. What you need to do from here is download the Office deployment tool. You'll find a link to this in the description down below. Click download, then open office deployment.exe. Read through the terms, accept, and continue. Upon doing this, you'll choose where to store the extracted files. Now, this isn't too important. Just choose a folder such as on your desktop and make it a temporary one. I'll just make a new folder on my desktop called temp. Select it, OK, files extracted, and I'll open the temp file on my desktop that this program just created. You'll see setup.exe followed by these three other files over here. Drag in your configuration.xml file from your browser into this folder, right click it and click edit. Now, usually if you selected something other than enterprise, you'll need to change this up here. In the description down below, I've linked a help file, which will show you what your product could be called. Simply heading across the page, scrolling down, you'll find a full list of Office 365 plans, as well as their product ID, which you can fill in here. Mine is Pro Plus Retail, the normal one you get on your account. Here are the excluded programs, chosen language, a bunch of other properties here, and that's about it. All you need to do is save this file if you edited it and then close it. At the very top, you'll click this bar up here and then type in CMD. Inside of here, we'll be typing in a simple command, setup.exe space forward slash configure space followed by the name of our configuration file. In my case, configuration.xml. Copy all of it, right click to paste it into here and then hit enter. But if your XML file has spaces in it, make sure to surround it in quotation marks, otherwise it won't work. After hitting enter, you'll be prompted for admin and then the office tool will start up. After it prepares things, you'll see all of the office programs that you asked it to install. Nothing more, nothing less. 
Of course, if you set up any other settings in the configuration online, those will also be carried across when the installation completes. From here, it's just a standard Microsoft install, nothing special about it, just that you're installing exactly what you wanted, exactly the way you wanted it. When it eventually finishes and you open up your program, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account to confirm that you actually own it, which will then activate the programs. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.